Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here and this is a quick video um, showing you guys what's new in a new big update to Smart Launcher. Um, the developers behind Smart Launcher are calling this Smart, Smart Launcher 5. And so I just want to give you guys a quick look of what to expect in the final version of Smart Launcher 5. So right now I am using the beta version right now. Um, so not everything is final. There's not a review or anything like that. This is just a quick uh, Walkthrough of what's new and what to expect um, in the final version of uh, smart launcher 5. So let's begin So of course the first big thing of course is the new kind of home screen design that we have here um, so here, of course, we have uh, some new widgets uh, that come with the launcher. So we have a nice new time uh, widget and then, of course, a weather widget as well. And what's also neat is that if you have an alarm set up or your calendar set up as well, it will show in the bottom below uh, your next alarm and your next uh, activity that you have uh, set in your calendar, which is really neat. Um, so yeah, it's just a fantastic widget. It looks really nice, uh, super simple. I like the font that they used. And so yeah very very cool um, so next of course below is we have a new search bar in the bottom below called smart search they're calling it so with smart search uh, when you tap the course uh, you'll be able to uh, look at your contacts or uh, apps that you want to search for and of course here are the ones that I'm currently using the most so I guess I'm pretty sure it, it, it shows you the apps that you use the most uh, when you tap smart search mm -hmm. and of course like I said you can show your contacts as well but I have that turned off uh, for this video course so I don't have to do all that crazy editing um, and so yeah, uh, cool looking uh, smart search feature right there. Um, pretty cool and neat. Next in the bottom right corner, we have a new uh, widget page. So your widget page of course is a page just for your widgets. So here you'll be able to upload as, uh, upload as much as widgets you want. So as you can see, I have three here um, only because uh, those are the ones that I really like using a lot right now. And of course, uh, if you want to add more widget pages or you want to add a widget on your home page, you can as well. And then of course, if you, like I said, if you want to add a widget onto your, if you want to add another widget page, all you have to do is pretty much hold and click that plus sign right there and then add a widget uh, on here or I mean slide here. Oops, oops. So let's try here. Okay, nope, does not want to work. So right now, because uh, I have a lot of widgets here, I need a space, but you can, when you hold tap and plus, plus sign, you'll be able to see the uh, thing right there that says add widget uh, page. Um, okay, so then we have on the bottom left corner, we have the app drawer logo here. So you don't have to tap this, but it makes it easy for you if you're using it with one hand. Um, but you can also just swipe. So there's a big uh, design change in the app drawer. Um, so uh, you have three setups. You have the older version, which I'm not going to show right now. And then you have this version, and then you have uh, the all apps, which is the typical app drawer uh, design look. So this is the new one here. So you have your, uh, your, um, your categories in the bottom below here. So you have your media, uh, settings, uh, weather. Uh, so you can add or delete some. So like here, you could just hold, you can add a category, you could delete this one if you want, um, which is very neat. Um, and so yeah, it's just a fantastic uh, uh, design change. I'm still not used to this because I'm used to the all, uh, all app drawer, uh, just like the default app drawer on Android Oreo and on Action Launcher uh, when I use it there. Um, so yeah, fantastic. Um, and then of course it gives you the options here to customize more so you can uh, change you can show your hidden apps you can uh, do sorting here so you could do by usage by install time by user by icon color if you want um, so yeah that's very cool there so yeah it's just a fantastic app drawer idea design I'm still not like I said I'm still not used to it uh, but I'm gonna try to keep using this launcher until the final version comes out so that I, I could give you guys a full review video about it okay so next we have some new cool icon designs here that we have so uh the developers behind uh, 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 smart launcher are uh calling this the adaptive uh, adaptive icons just so just like android oreo which first started it uh developers are, are starting to seem to introduce it to their own apps um so 
how do you get these so pretty much uh, you can just go to your home page area and then your icon uh, appearances and then here you have your uh, adaptive icons and then you have here some cool awesome uh, looking adaptive icon designs that you can choose from so you can have a crazy ones here so these are like pretty much crazy ones here that I don't really notice or see that much uh, then of course the typical one circle one uh, you have the circle with lines outside um, the leaf um, the squirrel if I'm pronouncing that right um, so yeah it's just really cool um, looking icon pack um, and then uh, when you're done with one you just click check mark and it should be there there we go so yeah that's very cool and neat okay so another new thing is a new design in the settings area so this is the nice simple uh, settings area so from here we're able to customize a lot of things inside the launcher so the home page the app page the wallpaper themes uh, global settings of course your search bar um, you could take a screenshot what's awesome about the screenshot is that uh, it makes it easier of course for you to take a screenshot but to share it so if you want to share it on Twitter your setup what it will do is tell you the smart uh, the launcher you're using of course which is smart launcher 3 uh, smart launcher 5 I mean and then the icon pack as well which is really neat uh, so yeah that's very cool um, right there uh, so yeah uh, bu 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 what else do we have here to search for you guys um, gestures of course so yeah, and then of course the ambient uh, theme uh, um, feature. So depending on the wallpaper that you have, so right now I have this blue awesome looking wallpaper. Um, it changes the colors as well, which is really cool. So depending if your wallpaper is green, uh, it, the launcher will automatically uh, change the setup to a green uh, to green to match the wallpaper. So it all looks really really nice and simple. Um, so yeah. Just a fantastic um, looking Smart Launcher 5 right now. Um, this is not a final review, like I said, um, and some of the features will probably be added some new features before the final version comes out, like hopefully in March. Um, so yeah, um, that's it for now, guys. And as always, uh, it'll be really awesome if you guys can subscribe or even better, like this video. So that's it for now, guys, and I will see you guys later. Peace.